The Campanile was erected to uh, commemorate the landing of the 1820 settlers and more or less the place where they landed. There was a, a competition in 1920, but the winner, the design was too expensive and eventually local architect Mac Williams was appointed and the building was completed three years late in 1923. And then in 1936, Carillon of uh, 23 bells, ranging from middle C to B flat, was added. The Campanile uh, as an iconic uh, tourism uh, icon for the city uh, hadn't been maintained for a while. Um, so what gave rise to the restoration was really, firstly, uh, to look at how can we modernize it but also how can we prevent it from being a health hazard in terms of maintenance. The Campanile is strategically located uh, at the start of Route 67. Uh, you'll remember that Route 67 is the, it runs through the heart of the city. Uh, for the MBDA, it's become a very, in fact for the city, it's become one of the most visited tourism uh, assets that we have. So the upgrade had, had two significant objectives, uh, three actually. One was fixing the building that was about to fall apart, which was the most important one. But while we were given that mandate, we wanted it to do two other things. We wanted it to showcase a new democracy. So the building celebrates 100 years of settler presence in this metro. So it is a colonial building. Um, but there's a new story associated with the Campanile because it is the start of Route 67, which tells the story about Nelson Mandela, his contribution to the struggles, 67 years that he worked for our democracy, in parallel to the history of our metro. So it's not only his story, it's all of our stories that start in this very precinct. So we wanted the building to, to be able to do that. So where it will work economically is to, for creatives to have the opportunity to showcase their talents. And already in the precinct behind me is a mural that was commissioned by one of the young creatives in the metro as part of Route 67. So it was an opportunity to earn as a creative practitioner, as an artist and sculptor, um, in the precinct and in the building itself, there are opportunities through the exhibition space for more of that to happen. The tourism will benefit because now the start of Route 67 is fabulous. It is, we'd like to think it's world class. It's something unique to see. Uh, it's exciting because you can bring new people in that couldn't have gotten to the top before because the lift makes it able uh, wheelchair or disabled people, physically impaired, to access the top of the building and you can have a new audience coming to the to the building. The building has its own heritage and its own history which was celebrated with 23 magnificent bells. So the bells are the most beautiful objects of art in the building. But we wanted to add to that. We wanted to create an opportunity for the creative industry to be involved as well and hence on every floor that's available there is an exhibition that can move and change during the course of the year that will give an opportunity to creatives in the city to to showcase who they are or what they're doing or to be used as a celebration of a particular event so for example for women's day we could have an exhibition around women uh, for youth day we could have an exhibition around youth to make the building function we also try to include elements of surprise to make it a very interesting journey for the visitor. The Ghost Bells is really about an opportunity for delight for children, and I'm sure adults will enjoy it too, but it enables you to understand how the bells are working by pressing the keys of an imaginary uh, keyboard in the same way that works with the bells themselves. It shows you how the bells are working because the bells, remember, are hidden away. So the ghost bells are imitation bells and each bell will light up as you press the relevant key for that bell. We put on step 67 a stainless steel plate with an outline of Madiba to signify the contribution that he made 
and on the viewing level, we made a huge stainless steel window where one can step beyond the wall of the uh, campanile to be 300 millimeters outside of the wall and have a wonderful view of the harbor. It also brings people together. It brings people from all walks of life. Uh, so we can now have a concert around the Campanile Bells, uh, collaborating with musos from anywhere in the world. Um, and that we feel is very unique and it differentiates the city and it's really one of those, um, what you can call uh, added advantages uh, in terms of tourism. The start of Route 67 is very important for this metro because we have the honor of bearing Nelson Mandela's name. And this is a product that a tourist could come and walk to celebrate that. And the start of the building actually enables that to happen. So it is about a new heritage being formed. So we acknowledge the old, we acknowledge the old heritage, the colonial story of a hundred years of colonial presence, but we are focused on transforming that to what is the new heritage. And the new heritage is Route 67 and our current issues and our current democracy and the challenges we face now and how we transform that. And they are about the economic challenges and the social transformation challenges.